All right, so first things first, we're just going to plane down the wood here. This is just a single piece of walnut. And I'm not trying to get rid of some of the little quote-unquote imperfections in the wood. I actually liked them, so really what I'm just trying to do is get a uniform, um, uniform thickness uh, throughout the whole thing. And as you can see, it's a little bit uh, bowed. I'm not too concerned about that because I'm going to be cutting it down to, to length. And I'm just, I cut one side of the uh, board here to make sure that it's nice and flat. And then I did the other side. I went out into the garage and cut them down to a rough length. And now here I am just putting my 45 degree angle on all four of the corners or all four of the sides. So I'm just now marking um, each length that I want. So really I'm not concerned about the the actual dimensions as much as I am. I just want one side the same length as the other. So I just did the first uh, 45 degree from one side and then I just transfer the same length onto the other side. Just wanted to make sure that everything's angled properly and make sure I've got a good 90 degree and I'm just going to mark my um, length here. So I cut one of the shorter sides here and if you'll notice I, that's just a, a little piece of plywood that I have that it's screwed on there and I just put a mark on that so now I can just line up that mark on the plywood board that I have and just use that for my um, length. Now just a sanding block just clean up the the cutting ed, end there a little bit just making sure we don't have any burrs on there, really. So this step, I'm not sure if it's exactly necessary here, but really I'm just planing these sides here, making sure that they're pretty even. Uh, if you notice later, I do this again after it's all put together, so I'm not sure if this is completely necessary at this step, but I did it, and you know, a little bit of practice here on, on using a hand plane or block plane doesn't hurt anybody. So you see I'm just kind of got it clamped at the end of the table there on the vise. We'll clean up, and then again, I'm not sure that the sanding is necessary at this point but just trying to get some of that stuff cleaned up a little bit. It's just a rough sanding right now. Um, I think that's actually 110 that I'm using there at this point. And then I'll do a final sanding later. The inside of the, the utensil holder is going to be harder to reach. So I, you really do want to make sure that that's sanded to a final sanding before you glue it up. And just a one quarter inch rabbit here. I've got my um, handmade router table that I'm using and that's hooked up to my dust collection too. So I'm just doing a, a one quarter by one quarter um, rabbit there and you'll see that's going to be the bottom of the box so I can hide the the bottom. I wasn't sure how I wanted to do that but then I decided to put that in. I didn't want the bottom being exposed from the outside. So that's just making sure that everything's lined up there. And then I did a, a rough cut of the quarter inch plywood that I'm going to be using. Then I'm doing my measurements and do my final cut on that bottom piece. I'm going to kind of do my dry run here with the strap clamp and then I'll put that little piece in there. Now I'm going to go for my glue up but um, I'm using the calls here that are going to be on the the bottom, that plywood bottom, and with the glue up, I don't want to have my calls being stuck to the bottom of the box. If there's any squeeze out, a little tip here I learned from the Wood Whisperer: just some um, some clear packing tape on there. It'll those will pull off if they do get any wood glue on them. And now I'm going to go for the final glue up here. Just putting some glue and then spreading it with one of my disposable brushes. Get that strap clamp kind of uh, 
kind of loose there. I'm not trying to snug it down at this point. Just trying to get everything lined up properly. You notice I got the calls on the bottom there that are on top of those clamps. I was trying to clamp the wrong side there. So got those figured out. Now I'm getting all the dimensions proper, properly fit. Just a dry run on that top there before I get everything all snug down. And same thing, just gluing the gluing that bottom piece and then finishing off finishing it off with that brush. Now I'm going for my clamps across the the bottom there. All done. I let it sit overnight and pulling off my my Frankenstein's worth of clamps there. So there's the box. Now this is why you know that uh, previous. Um, planing might not have been necessary. I'm just here, I'm cleaning up the, you know, just making sure everything's smooth and, and flat. I don't want one edge sticking up over the other. And I started out kind of um, doing my round over on the edges there with my block plane, but I decided I wanted to use the chisel. I, I don't know, why not, right? I, I like the way that the chisel did that, um, took off that edge, the sharp edge. So you can really do it however you want. If you want to just use a, a sanding pad or, you know, use your block plane or whatever you want. Now I'm doing the, the final 220 grit sandpaper sanding and get that final edge. This is why you want to do the, the insides before you glue it up so it's all ready to go. Um, now I'm just doing that final sanding on top and everything. I've got my... Um, my wax paper down there to make sure I don't get anything on the table. Starting with the inside, I couldn't get to, to all the corners on the inside. You'll see what I'm doing, what I do here in a little bit. But I'm just using some salad bowl finish on this. Um, you know, I, I have in the, um, the post that I have on the website, I've got some more in-depth stuff if you want to check that post out at thefightwithdepression.com. And I've, I'll have some links to, to Mark Spagnolo, a.k.a. The Wood Whisperer, um, some of his tips on finishes. And so, yeah, I've got that, um, just the final, final finish going on there. Yeah, so here it is. Just a simple little box, but hopefully it'll do the trick. Hold some, hold some utensils in it, like I said, just a... Pretty simple box, but it'll work. So we are it's recording now. It's awesome. <laughs> Christopher? Guess what? I just walked by a thing of clear packing tape on the stairs. Kirsten brought that over.